Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the beta channel, which is the build with a 22631.1972. This build for the beta channel has a lot of fixes related to the Windows 11 operating system and also a very big thing that is now being tested in the beta channel that we're going to talk about in this video. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. Before starting the video, a quick message from our video sponsor. This video is sponsored by HitPod Video Converter. With HitPod Video Converter, you can convert to and from more than a thousand video slash audio formats. You even have the ability to apply simple edits to the file such as cut, merge, and more. Using HitPod Video Converter, you can also burn video or audio to DVD. To compress videos using the software, you need to select the video slash image compressor from the toolbox. You'll need to select the video and the level of compression that you want before clicking the compress button. The end result is very good with little to no quality quality loss. Download HitPod Video Converter from the links in the description below. Let's continue with the video. First of all, if you want to learn more about the beta channel, how this channel works and why there are two different builds, you can check out the article below in the video description for a more in-depth view on that. So now let's talk about what is new in this build. We only have one change in this build for the beta channel and that is that Windows Insiders in the beta channel on this build are now previewing the Windows App SDK version of the File Explorer. Functionality in the File Explorer remains unchanged, it just switches from using WinUI 2 to WinUI 3. So this is great news. This means that the new file explorer that is currently being tested in the dev channel is slowly coming in the beta channel. Microsoft is doing a slow and gradual transition. I think that is great. And this is a strong sign that we will be able to see the new file explorer in the Windows 11 23 H2 version that should be released sometime later this year. So I think that is great. So as it is now in this build, nothing is changed in the file explorer, only the Windows app SDK version has changed from WinUI 2 to WinUI 3, but in the next few builds, we could see certain elements from the new file explorer that is tested on the dev channel get tested also on the beta channel. I think that is great. Talking about fixes in this build, if you right click on the date and time and then click on adjust date and time and you use the show date and time the system tray slider, this now should work properly. It was reversed in the previous build. So if you turn it on, you can see the date and time the system tray, turn it off and that will be hidden. This update also expands the rollout of notification badging for Microsoft accounts in the start menu. A Microsoft account is what connects Windows to your Microsoft apps. The account backs up all your data and helps you manage all your subscriptions. You can also add extra security steps to keep you from being locked out of your account. This feature gives you a quick access to important account related notifications. This update also adds many new features and improvements to Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. Of course, you can check the article below for more information about that. This update gives user accounts the ability to open an elevated Windows terminal. This only works if they use an admin an account that has not signed in before. Also, this update addresses an issue that affects File Explorer or Explorer.exe, it stops working. And also, this update addresses an issue that affects File Explorer windows. They unexpectedly appear in the foreground. This update also affects the reliability of windows. It improves after you update the OS. Also, this update addresses an issue that affects the recommended section of the start menu. When you right click a local file, it does not behave as expected. And yet another fix for the File Explorer. This update fixes an issue that affects File Explorer it might stop responding indefinitely. This occurs after you try to view the effective access permissions for files in the file explorer. So these are the highlights basically for the new update in the beta channel. Of course, for an in-depth view and list of fixes and changes in this build, you can check out the article below in the video's description. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.